Hello, today, some rules for logarithms. So if I have uh, the log base A of a quantity M times N, I can break that up into these two things over here, and I change from multiplication, noted by the dot right there, to addition. This is a one-way trip. I can't really, in other words, I can't do anything if I've got, I shouldn't, okay, take that back. It's not a one-way trip. We can work the other way. We can go from this to that, but I can only do this if multiplication. If it is addition, I, I can't do anything. But if it's multiplication, then I can really say, I can break this down, that the log base A of M plus log base A of N is equal to the log base A of N times N. Let's see an example of how this works. So if I've got log base 2 of the quantity 4 times 2, that should be the same as log base 2 of 4 plus the log base 2 of 2. Let me shift up my colors here for a second. Okay. So really what this is, is it's log base 2. I'm going to simplify the, the center there of 8. And log base 2 of 8, well, 2 to some power is equal to 8. That is 2 to the third power equals 8. So really this is going to be 3. Two, oh, right here, 2 to some power is equal to 4. That x is what the value of this logarithm is. And 2 squared equals 4. Therefore, this is equal to 2. 2 to some power is equal to 2. And 2 to the first power equals 2. So the value of this is equal to 1. So what I end up with is 3, because that's the, the value of this logarithm, is equal to 2, the value of this logarithm, plus 1, the value of this logarithm. And that's true. 3 equals 2 plus 1. That holds. All right. Um, similarly, that works for multiplication, although it doesn't work for, if we have addition in there, it does work for division. Multiplication and division are connected. Um, so the logarithm base A of the quantity M divided by N is equal to logarithm base A of M minus the logarithm base A N. Now, looking over here, notice that your numerator goes first. The order here is very much going to make a difference. And then, of course, the denominator will be uh, what you subtract. So let's take a look. Here's my example. I've got log base 2 of the quantity 4 divided by 2 is equal to the log base 2 of 4 minus log base 2 of 2. Um, simplify this out. Simplify this out. This, if I simplified it on its own, I'm just, again, I'm just really proving that these, uh, these work, I, I'm, or I'm demonstrating they work. The proof would be a little bit different, but it's a demonstration that these work. 4 divided by 2 is 2, and then if I simplify 2 to the x is equal to 2, well, that's just 2 to the 1 equals 2. Uh, therefore, this has a value of 1 is equal to um, 2 to some value equals 4. 2 squared equals 4. Therefore, the value of this logarithm would be 2. Uh, 2 to some number over here is equal to 2. 2 to the 1 equals 2. Therefore, the value 
is the of the logarithm is 1 I should get 1 is equal to 2 minus 1 this is true therefore we see that this is in fact working this is another rule of of logarithms how about another I've got log base a of the quantity 1 over m is equal to negative logarithm base a m um, example an example to see how this works I should have log base 2 of 1 over 4 is equal to negative log base 2 of 4 well 2 this is telling me here that 2 to some power is equal to 1 fourth. Well, I know I'm going to have a negative exponent because I've got a fraction here. Um, remember, 2 to the 0 is equal to 1. 2 to the negative 1 is equal to the reciprocal of 2. And then 2 to the negative 2 is equal to 1 over 2 squared, that's what the negative does, right? Puts the exponent in the uh, the bottom down there. It's, it's really squaring the reciprocal. And that gives me 1 over 4. So this is 2 to the negative 2 is equal to 1 over 4. Therefore, x equals negative 2. So let me zip that down. That's negative 2. And then lo let's look at the right side here negative. What is log base 2 of, of 4? That tells me that 2 to some power x is equal to 4. 2, I know that 2 squared equals 4, therefore x equals 2. That's the value of this logarithm. Bring that down. So negative 2 is equal to negative 2, and we see that this is equal this holds true. Okay, just about done. Let's look at uh, a little bit more here. I've got an interesting one here. Log base A of m to the n is equal to n times log base A of m. Mm, interesting, interesting, and very useful, very, very useful. Um, this gives us a lot. This is one of the the, the powerful things about logarithms. Let's take a look at an example here. So if this is true, I should have log base 2 of 4 to the third is equal to 3 times log base 2 of 4. All right, break this down. Um, 4 to the third is equal to, Well, 4 squared is 16, 4 to the third, therefore, is 64. Okay, so 2 to what power is equal to 64? Well, 2 to the third is equal to 8, 2 to the fourth is equal to 16, 2 to the fifth is 32, and 2 to the sixth is equal to 64. Ah, so this is telling me again that 2 to some number x is equal to 64. We just saw that 2 to the 6th equals 64, therefore x equals 6. So this logarithm has a value of 6 is equal to, um, I'm going to 3 times this, whatever this is right here, log base 2 of 4. And this 2 to the x is equal to the value excuse me, the value of this logarithm is x. If 2 to the x is equal to 4, we know that 2 squared equals 4. Therefore, x equals 2. That value goes there. 6 is equal to 3 times 2. We know that to be true. And there's a demonstration that this method works as well. Um, those are some of the key rules of exponents and logarithms of how the two work together. Um, don't forget these. Ref go back and review. It can be a little bit tricky the first few times that you go through this, 
but I think you will find that it gets to be rather intuitive in a short bit with just a wee bit of practice. Bring in your questions and have a fantastic day.